Shape dividers offer a great way to separate sections of a page. In this video, we'll show you how to use this feature inside B-Builder. We've prepared a sample page built using pre-built sections to show how shape dividers work. To begin, edit any section. Now scroll down the Settings tab. Here you'll find Shape Divider options both top and bottom. Let's choose a type from the list. Now there are a lot of shape dividers you can pick to match the style of your current project. We'll select Arc Opacity 2 for this section and slightly change its width and height. We can also flip it horizontally. Now the last option is the Bring to Front toggle. It allows the divider to cover content inside of the section. So if we change the height of this shape, we can now bring it to the front, and as you can see, it covers the heading. OK, let's come back to the previous settings. Moving to the bottom tab, we can use the gradient shape to transition into a solid color background, which in this case is in the following section. This method is often used when we have an image background inside a section that is fixed or using parallax effects. Like in this one, it only has a fixed background image set. And we can make it so the image flows beneath the shape dividers. The top shape is set in place. OK, now let's add a bottom one as well. We'll use the gradient again. Update and go to the page to see what it looks like. Cool, working great! Shape dividers don't need to be only used as transitions between sections. We can also use them as decorations. Here we have a standard call to action section. We can choose the Christmas trees shape and modify it to act like a typical background. That looks fantastic! Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.